Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to this video on web clocks. Now if you look in front of you, what you see is indeed a web clock. And what's happening is that that red poppy right there is dropping through a web. When it reaches the bottom, it's going to cause that lamp on the right side to turn on. So let's watch it for a few moments and see how that works. When the poppy reaches the very bottom, it'll get sucked out and our light turns on for just a few moments. And this cycle will continue as long as we have red poppies. So let me show you how this works. If we go up here, you can see we've got a dropper. In that dropper is a bunch of poppies. Now, it doesn't have to be poppies. It can be any item at all. I just think poppies are pretty. Now those poppies are dropped by the dropper through the web. And the poppies take a little bit of time to drop through the web. Now we could build up as many webs as we wanted. And the more webs we have, the longer the clock takes. Then once it falls out of the web, it gets sucked into this hopper. The hopper triggers this comparator, which triggers this block, which triggers this redstone dust and turns on our light. Now what's happening simultaneously is this little tower here is going to fire our dropper and our dropper will drop another poppy and this whole cycle will continue again until we run out of poppies. Now the nice thing is our poppies end up in a chest down here so you'll get all your poppies back in the end. Now one thing you're going to see here too is a button. Now if I get too close theoretically I should get this poppy. Let's see if I get it. Come on, Poppy. Come on. There we go. I got that Poppy. Now you'll notice we have no Poppies dropping. Oh, what are we going to do? Well, all we have to do is push our button. And that will get the whole cycle going again. And it works right at the beginning, too, when you first get this fired up. So that's how it works. Let's build one real quick. Now this is pretty easy when you have a clock like this right in the background. <laughs> So let's start by laying down a wool block and let's create our light right away. There we go. And we're going to put a torch on top of our wool block. We'll put another torch up here. Or I'm sorry, another block up here. And we'll put a torch on the side of that. And we'll put another block above that. Now if we go up, we can see that we've pretty much done everything that needs to happen. So we'll put our dropper here and we need to put our web underneath that. Then we need to put our hopper and we need to put our comparator. Now the comparator you want coming out of the hopper like that. Now just to make things a little easier we can put our chest down here and we'll add our button. Where is our button? We got to get a button. There it is. And we've got to add our button right there. Okay. Now we've got our whole web clock. So we're going to test it out. Let's get some poppies in there. Let's see here. Do we have poppies? Hmm. What can we put in there? Let's put a different kind of flower. Let's put pink tulips. And we're going to put a bunch of pink tulips in there. And we'll fire it up. And there's our pink tulip dropping out. And we'll just give it a few moments. Now what we should see is that the tulip gets sucked in here and our light lights for just a few moments. We'll give it a little more time and a little more time. And here we go. And it worked. So there it is, a web clock. And we get our tulip back besides. So if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, or subscribe. If you didn't like this video, eh, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.